Now we shall go to the next problem in the projection of plane series. A pentunal lamina of sides 25 mm is resting on one of its edges on HP with the corner opposite to that edge touching VP. This edge is parallel to VP and the corner which touches VP is at a height of 15 mm above HP. Draw the projections of the lamina and determine the inclination of the lamina with HP and VP and the distance at which the parallel edge lies from VP. So let us go into the solution of the problem. But before that, let us look at the criteria which we are supposed to satisfy to get the solution. The first criteria is the pentagon, which is the shape. The second criteria is the dimension 25 mm resting on one of its edges on HP. So it is resting on HP. More precisely, it is resting on one of its edges on HP. Next, this edge is parallel to VP and the corner which touches uh, VP is at a height of 15 mm above HP. So opposite to the, the edge on which it is resting is the, is the corner. This corner is at a height of 15 mm above HP. At the same time, at the same time, the edge opposite to the corner is touching VP and the edge is parallel to VP. So there are multiple criteria that we are supposed to satisfy in this particular question, predominantly about seven, uh, six or seven criteria. So let us look into the solution of this problem. So I have X, Y, VP and HP. So we have a pentagonal lamina of sides 25 mm. Twenty-five mm. So from this point, it is seventy-two degrees. And from this point here, it is seventy two degrees again. Seventy seventy two. Using the compass. We will measure the distance of 25 mm. Keeping it here, I shall cut an arc. And keeping it here, I will cut the arc. So I again have two different points. And I shall close the pentagon. So let us name these points now. I have my point A, B, C, D and E. Provide the dimensions for it. Now let us draw the front view for this. Since I am placing this flat on the horizontal plane, it will look like a line from the front view. So this point here becomes 
my a dash bracket e dash this point here becomes b dash bracket d dash and finally i have my point c dash <clears throat> now so we have satisfied three criteria in the first position that is the shape dimension and resting on hp now let us look into the next part of the question which says that it is resting on one of its edges on HP. So according to our solution, which we have, it can rest only on A dash bracket E dash. At the same time, the corner is at a height of 15 mm above HP. So the opposite corner, opposite to this edge, we have the corner C dash and this corner should be at a height of 15 mm above HP. So let me take an appropriate point. I'll call this point as my A dash bracket E dash. So I'll let me draw a line which is parallel to HP at a height of 15 mm above HP. So this line is parallel to HP and at height of 15 mm. So now what we will do is we will measure the distance from A dash bracket E dash to C dash. We will measure the distance from A dash bracket C dash to C, uh, C dash. Now we do not know what is this length but we shall assume it as some x value. So from A dash bracket E dash to C dash, I will measure and then I will cut the arc and I get the point C dash. Now joining this line, joining this line, I will be able to get my front view. Now again, I have to locate my point B dash bracket D dash. Again, measure the distance from A dash bracket E dash to B dash bracket D dash this particular mesh length after measuring it again cut the arc so i have my point b dash bracket d dash so now we have the complete front view measuring this will give me the angle theta that is the angle of inclination to hp so the angle of inclination to HP which I have gotten is about um, is 22 degrees. So we have gotten 22 degrees. From here let us see what the front view looks sorry, sorry the top view looks like from the front view. So we will draw the projection lines from each of these points. So my point A dash and A are meeting here. So this becomes my new A. My point B dash and B are meeting here. So this becomes my new B. My point C dash and C are meeting here. So this becomes my new C. My point D dash and D are meeting here. So this becomes my new D. And my point E dash and E are meeting here. So this becomes my new E. So join all these points with proper visible lines. We will be getting our top view in the second position.
so now we have satisfied the criteria that one of the edges is touching hp and the corner opposite to that edge is 15 mm above hp in the third position again we'll be satisfying two criteria one criteria is that the point c the point c is touching the vertical plane and at the same time the edge which is resting on hp is parallel to vp the edge which is touching hp is parallel to vp so two criteria we will be satisfying in a single in a, in a single manner <clears throat> so to gain to do that let me introduce a new point over here just for our understanding a point f now what we will be doing is we'll be taking an appropriate point c we'll call that as my point c now measuring this distance i will draw a line first from my point c a perpendicular line perpendicular to the xy line perpendicular to xy line next i will measure the distance from c to f i'll measure the distance from c to f keeping at point c i'll cut an arc i'll be able to locate my point f this point f is just a temporary point which i'm using <coughs> just for recreating the third position top view from here i'll draw a line which is perpendicular to cf through f right so this particular line which is perpendicular i've recreated over here now measure the distance from e to f from e to f measure the distance since it is symmetric about the horizontal e to f will be equal to a to f cut the line cut the point f from here and on this side and on the opposite side so i'll be able to get my point a and i'll be able to get my point b e. <clears throat> now from c to d measure the distance from c to d measure that distance and cut the arc on both sides similarly from a to b measure that distance from a to b measure the distance and cut the arc which is equal to a to b will be equal to e to d so i have my point a my point b c is already located d and f join all these points with proper visible lines we'll get our third position top view essentially what we are doing is we are satisfying the two criteria which i mentioned the edge on which it rests on hp that is a to e is parallel to the vertical plane vp and at the same time the corner opposite to that edge is touching the vertical plane so we have recreated the second position top view in the third position top view only thing is e to a is parallel to the xy line and the point c is touching the xy line so from here we shall draw the front view for this so from each of these points we shall draw the projection lines from point a point b point c point d and point E. as i told you point f is just a temporary line temporary point which i'm using to draw this line c to f so that i'm it's easier for me to recreate this third position for top view right so my point a and a dash are meeting here so this becomes my new a dash my point b let me draw the projection line from here So my point B and B dash are meeting here. So this is my new point B dash. 
my point C and C dash are meeting here. So this is my new point C dash. My point D and D dash are meeting here. So this is my new point D dash. And my point E and E dash are meeting here. So this is my new point E dash. So join all these points with proper visible lines. We shall get our third position front view. So now we have solved the solution but however the question also asks us to determine the angle of inclination of the lamina with HP which we have determined theta to be as 22 degrees and VP. So VP can be determined as phi is equals to 90 minus 22 degrees and finally what is the length and what is the length? of the edge parallel edge lies from VP that can be measured here which is about 36 mm right so this makes it 90 minus 20 70 70 68 degrees right 68 degrees and this one length let's call it as some x value and this x value happens to be equal to 35 mm. So this is the solution for the question number 8. Thank you for your time.